following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 363, NASDAQ off 110, S&Ps off 35. You take a look percentage-wise out here. You get some percentages happening, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 1.4, NASDAQ down 1.4, well, all down 1.4. Gold contract. Gold contract's up $9.80 trading at $12.84 an ounce. You got silver up $0.10, cents, $14.55 an ounce. They both have caught a bid. The biggest bid out here, though, folks, is uh, notes and bonds. Bottom line, they're going right after the highs. They have the volume behind the move. They have the price behind the move. Right now, you get the 10-year up 15 ticks, 124.29. 30-year up uh, full point plus two ticks, trading at 150.25. We get the 10-year right now yielding 2.331, and that is the low for the uh, last three months. King dollar. King dollar failed at its high, 98.085. Went after it this morning. Pull back underneath it. I suspect we're going to get a failure here, particularly the way as soon as the uh, pit trading opened in, inside the <coughs> gold and silver market, folks, someone came in and came in fast and furious. Uh, so I, I'm looking for that dollar to fail because it's all about the dollar in the metals market. Euro. Euro is at 111.44. The yen's at 109.79. And the pound is out here at 126.51. The pound's having some big problems out here. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of swim as we do each and every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And don't forget, folks, outstanding program here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand options, option strategies, futures, defined risk. You better have defined risk in this market. Um, and oil. How about oil, right? Whew, $4 oil. almost in 24 hours. Smoked. Man. Smoked. We got plenty of oil. We got plenty of gasoline. We're going into Memorial Day weekend, the... Refinery utilization is not is still in a negative, and we have plenty of gasoline. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, you guys are talking, and I have up on my screen watching crude oil right now, down 4.7%. And I want you guys to think of something. As an old broken-down commodities trader, my now my focus was the grains, but I watched commodities every day. This is a seasonally strong time for crude oil especially ahead of the Memorial Day driving and the early summer driving season. And so for this uh, crude oil trade to, to break like this, like it has in the last two days, that is counter to what a lot of people who trade maybe oil in a seasonal factor are thinking of here. There's no doubt. You know, Tommy and I, when these numbers come out yesterday, it was like, hold it, we have a build in gasoline, and the refinery utilization is still a little negative. So it's like, okay. That, that's that's saying quite a bit, no doubt. Yeah, that, that that is a tone change and a reverse throttle on all the bullish, uh, you know, uh, thought that that was going into crude oil and had led it up from you know really the mid 40s up into you know over 65 dollars, and now you well you can you can say goodbye to the six handle for a little while here. Yeah, yeah no, no doubt, and you know. Hey, listen, we know that by this afternoon, everyone's going to be basically packing it in. So it's going yep. to be interesting here. You know, the, the S&P, I mean, it's pressing, you know, the, the lows from our last swing, but it doesn't look to me like it's going to make it. You know, the IWM, the, 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 the small caps broke, but that 2801 in the cash looks like it's going to basically hold today anyway. And if it, do, if it does hold today, you know, I mean, tomorrow it's going to be light volume. It's not going to be much You're exactly tomorrow. right. Tom, we, and we already warned the people that watched Fast Market. Once we get to midday Thursday, right, which is right as probably Fast Market ends, yes. you're going to start to see eyeballs come off the screens and, and uh, 
total people watching the markets will start to diminish really by the hour, and by tomorrow it'll it'll go down substantially. So everyone just has to understand what that means. Remember, a little thinner markets, susceptible to big moves, but yeah. maybe moves that don't hold, right? right. Whippy, thin, kind of low-volume trade, and holiday markets is what we call them, and they're that for a reason. Just lower your expectations for liquidity and things like that, even though we have a durable goods number out tomorrow that might be a little volatile, you know, with, with some of the Boeing cancellations possibly being factored into that headline number. That headline number might be a little volatile tomorrow morning, guys. Yeah. And, you know, the, what, what Kevin's saying here, folks, you got to remember something that in this type of summer trading, this market can get pushed anywhere like ASAP in a, in two, in a heartbeat, too. You know, like we're down 38. You know, don't be surprised if you get a, a pop of 10 or 15 S&P points and then you come down the other side. It's just it's not that you know what direction it's going. It's that that when it does go, it goes pretty dramatically. There's no All you have to do, Tom and Tommy, is look back to December 24th, which was a half day in the market. Normally a very low volume, very low attention day. And they moved this market big on a, on a half trading day. So, yeah, it's out there. And the markets are a little susceptible of that when... Um, when you get these markets, the, the, these pre-holiday markets like this, so um, keep your powder dry. Be a little, be a little careful here. You know, Kevin, as we're speaking right now, the the thirty year is actually breaking its uh, swing high from uh, March. This is pretty yeah. wild. That's... Yeah, ten year yields. You know, I have been saying on our show that a December rate hike or rate cut that is currently being give, being given a percentage of happening right now. I don't see that, frankly, right? I, I, it's a tough case to make for that. But some of these Fed um, governors and, and these Fed representatives are starting to talk about that, that if inflation stays, you know, extremely low like this, and boy, that's a, it's hard for me to connect the dots on a really strong economy and lowering interest rates. And the message that that will send. So it, I think that the second half of this year is going to be something that plays out. I, I don't think Jerome Powell gave any indication in the Fed minutes, but there's a lot of speculation and, 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 uh, and there's certainly a lot, of, a lot of people starting to have opinions on a second half of the year rate cut. I'm not in that, in that camp. Yeah, I know. I guess the real question is going to be is that, and you just brought that up, is it the perception because yesterday I was when I was doing the afternoon show, I'm looking at the rates in Europe, and like they went into negative yesterday morning in a big way, and I was like, okay, man, you know, and I'm talking about the ten years, okay? So I was right. like, okay, now now you're gonna you, you, you pay in Germany once again, you pay in France once again on a ten year. It's like you know what, man? Who knows what's out there? And I don't know whether it's just perception that rates are going lower, and so that's what ends up happening. Do you know what I mean? I mean that, that's always the, one of the biggest fears anyway that. You know, whatever our perception is, the, the Fed wants our perception to, to say that inflation is going so that we'll basically keep spending money versus if it's deflation, who wants to spend money, right? It's like right. Here's wait a my week fear. and things are cheaper. Here's my fear. We are such a headline-driven market right now, and that I'm okay with that part of it, but headlines – affect consumer behavior right right and that's what i think it may be one of those where we're talking ourselves into a slowdown here and that's when when when, when you start to see the headlines affect you know behavior of, of the consumer which fuels our market then i get concerned yeah no doubt listen folks 45 minutes from now outstanding show kevin you have a great day, a safe day, a great weekend, man. I know you're heading to Florida. It's going to be awesome, man. I'm, he I'm heading your way, guys. See you in about six hours. Okay. Awesome, man. Have a great one. Have Thanks, a Kevin. One. Thanks Stay for having me on, guys. Stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 372. You get the NASDAQ off 124. S&Ps are down 40. So uh, these ABC structures look like they've started. Okay. Uh, you know, they've been, they've been happening. Uh, the, uh, the IWM is going after it today. So we'll see whether we get, get the volume. The IWM would need uh, more than 26 million shares. We, we broke the B point, the B point being 150, 116. 26 million, which, you know, it could do 26 million. You know, but as Kevin said, I think this is going to dry up this afternoon, you know. Um, and where does that ABC take us down to? Because it's not so going to be substantially lower than no, it's where not. we're at. it's not. Because it's 161.11 yep. is the A. Was that 151? So almost $10 on the penny. Yeah, so that would be uh, 146. Okay. 149 we're at. Yeah. The uh, XLE has already broken it. That's going to have the volume more than likely because we got... Yeah, 14 million already get four. And that one is, uh, this one is okay. a little bit larger. Yeah, you got what, 6881, 62. 65, so call it six, $6.20 about. So that's uh, what, 58 something? Yeah. 58 bucks. 58.50. You're at 61 right now. Uh, the SMHs, now that, that, this is where this gets cool, folks. Remember, if the SMH has already started it, you know, that started it last week. That thing blew away the B point last week. Where is the B point on that one? Right here. Okay. That's, uh, what's that, 104.93, okay. 17 million, 19 million, and, just, and then got another 18 million. So, uh, now, do you look for a certain amount it has to go from the B to the C in terms of at least a 382 or anything? What happens is they, if they, an ABC structure, so if it's only like a dead cat like that, a .382, that's actually more a powerful one because you couldn't get a retracement going topside, right? 
you cannot go past the 0.618 retracement to have an actual definition of an ABC structure on the way down. Or the way up. Sure. It doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that negates it. That's, that's saying that your Fibonacci expansion contraction, you know, is a consolidation versus a continuation move. So on this one, though, the green bar is the 38. Like yep. not hitting that? Does that matter? We didn't even get. And that's what I was kind of looking at is that, that I don't even that, see a B to C in this. That means that it's even a, a weaker market and could be a larger ABC structure down because it couldn't get going topside. You know, if it did like a 50% one, then it's like, okay, still do it. If it did a 0.618 one, then most times you're only, you probably won't even have an ABC down. You'll come down and hit the B point and bounce off it because it's, it's more strength. Yeah. The... Um, What's going to be intriguing here, of course, is that if we look at the Qs, the Qs, I think it's going to die down right now, but the Qs, it's right next to it right now, 178.06. We hit once. Oh, look at it. I think we hit it. There you go. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so the Qs are not going to, they're not going to do 67 million out here today. I just don't see it. Um, the Spies, but in the bigger context, folks, once you start these things, you know, this this is we're in, we're on ABC market down at this particular point, and the spy 127. We're not going to do 127 in the S and P's. Let's go to our man Paul in Henderson, Nevada. Hey, Paul, what's going on, brother? Hello. What's happening, man? How you doing? Oh, good, good, good. How you guys doing, man? Doing good. well, man. Good. Thanks for calling. Yeah, for sure. You guys were talking about the SMHs, and I wanted to uh, see, Tom, if you could bisect and dissect this NVDA chart um, and kind of tell me what you think. So, you know, I've been shorting these uh, several different SMHs for a while, and the setup here on NVDA is that uh, we did a very weak bounce off this big, huge move down. It also ran right into the 200 EMA on the daily, and... I'm wondering if uh, this, when you look at this on a weekly chart, if you pull it over to a weekly, if this could be an ABC down on the weekly, I mean, this thing would get just all the way back down to where the breakout started. I'm wondering how you would look at this. And, so, uh, what we have, let, let's do, we'll do the daily first. So, you get an ABC down in the daily. A point there is a 184.87. So, you're looking at May 2nd for the A. Yeah, and then the B point. May 13th, what is that low? 157.81. 157 to 184, so 27 bucks, uh, give or take. Okay, and then 27 off one, I call it 164. Yeah. Is that one? 137. Okay, so you get, so on a daily, Paul, you get an ABC down to 137, and right down here at that 138, you know, to 131, you can see that high volume. So that's where it wants to go on the daily. Mm -hmm. Now, if we put this on the weekly, Well, on the weekly, I mean, <laughs> if it's a monster ABC <laughs> down, that's your that's your eight point up there, two ninety two. You know, yeah, I mean that that could be it, but um, those are harder to basically, you know, speculate on. You know, I mean, it, but you know, the weakness, you know, you you came down off this uh, this high of two ninety two, you get to a low of one twenty four, and you do just over point three eight two retracement, so it can be. What's that takes it to twenty dollars, just to put things in perspective. <laughs> <laughs> it does. One hundred and seventy point. Um, okay, so so let's let's bring it back. A to B. Twenty bucks is. There is a lot of gaps on the way up on this chart, and one of the big ones uh, here is right around uh, that one fourteen level, and that has a lot of volume. Yeah. There's just so many of them on the way up. There There's another one, run. another big one down around eighty dollars. That's and in general, the SMHs look pretty weak, you know. Oh yeah, listen, man, it, it's it's. It it's, went from twenty bucks in September of fifteen up to almost three hundred within the span of three years. Right. Um, that's so unusual. Man. Yeah. That's a fifteen bagger for something that. And you had a lot changing when you think about what they do, right? Oh yeah. You have Bitcoin going bananas. Right. You had AI. You have all this stuff happening right. with chips. Um, right. I think my new laptop has an Nvidia graphics. Right. Or so, you know, yeah. It's yeah. like so. So I mean, you get they make great, they have great products, that's for sure. But man, oh well, listen, yeah, you can. Uh, they yeah. were just priced for super perfection, yeah. I think, yeah. right? I mean, they'll be around, yeah, you which can. is why twenty dollars seems a little tough for, for my mental fundamental take on Nvidia, right? 
like, did it really change that quick to go from almost 300 back to 20? I still feel like their chips are going to be a powerful player. Um, but they are. The, the real question, for the little I know about the industry, you know. The, the but, real question is going to be, you know, the amount which, what, 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 I, what I believe you're going to see in the next three to four weeks is that we're going to see, there's going to be plenty of analysts that come out and say, okay, how many of these chips are getting sold to Chinese companies that no longer can buy them? That's where that's what that's what's going on in, yeah. in, in the chip industry right now. This is, and this war is not going to get over. This my, my take. Nope. On, this is going to be going on for a long period of time. So there's a whole different change dynamic that's going on here. This is you know if this thing's not going to end in a year, two years, three years. This is the beginning of a whole different animal, and they're going to have to revalue their supply chain. You know what I mean? So like they're doing it right now, right? Big exactly. Time. No, Big yeah. Time. Trying Just to like figure that, it out, man. right? It's, it, it, it's serious business. Yes. You know, it's, it's serious business if those are your customers. <laughs> oh, right. You know, so Huawei's huge. You can't sell to them anymore. Right. What and now there's four more. Right. Exactly. You know? So and that's not going to be the end of it either. No. All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you for the analysis. I appreciate it. Have, Have a good a one. Great one. Have, Have a great one, one. Paul. Great Thanks, weekend, man. man. Bye bye. Dow. Dow is down at 384. Nasdaq's up 122. S&P's are up 40. Come right back. The TFNN Memorial Day Tiger Dollar Sale is here. From now through Memorial Day, you can get up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars never expire and can be used for any TFNN good or service. Whether you're a current subscriber looking to add instant savings or you're a new listener or viewer that is considering signing up for any product in the near future, now is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars and lock in dramatic savings on all TFNN products and services. We only have a sale like this a couple times a year, so don't let it pass you by. Tiger Dollars are available in three purchase options with a 20%, 30%, and even 40% bonus. Once you purchase your Tiger Dollars, you'll be able to apply them to your TFNN account, and then they are automatically used for all your recurring subscriptions going forward, making it as easy as possible. For all the details on this Tiger Dollar promotion running through Memorial Day, visit the front page of TFNN.com and get your Tiger Dollars before this sale passes you by. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. The art of timing the trade charts has a special running for one week only. From now through Memorial Day, you can save 25% off your first month and we'll ship you a hardcover copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade. The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system. This software package is the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way to analyze stocks using Tom O'Brien's trading philosophy. It automatically provides you with Gartley and Butterfly patterns, swing points, retracement levels, confluence areas, expansion targets, and the power law vector indicator with just the click of a mouse. The scanner searches thousands of stocks each day and delivers a list of every Gartley and Butterfly pattern it finds automatically. Just enter the promo code BOOK at checkout. This sale ends Memorial Day, May 27th, so don't let it pass you by. For all the details and to save 25% and get your free book shipped today, check out the art of timing the trade charts on the front page of TFN com this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com Welcome back, folks. 
Nasdaq's uh, Dow. Dow's down uh, 346. We get the Nasdaq off 110. S&P's down 35. Let's go over to the gold contract. So what was impressive out here this morning, folks, is that it has the bid, but what you had here is that as soon as the pit opened, that's where the order came in. Um, and I always like to see that because uh, that <laughs> that is the orders that can either make or break uh, the market in general. And you can see that 820, right? Yes. Uh, 820, you know, bang. That pit opens. Someone came in, came in fast and furious. If we go over to the silver market, you're going to see the same deal. Now, when this was happening, which was pretty wild, is that the dollar hadn't, you know, basically, you know, the dollar was still up there. Okay. Uh, so it was like, man, this is a trip. So if we go over to the dollar, actually, I think the dollar had already failed. Let me just see this at 8.30. What time was that? Split? No, same, same deal. No, that's 9.30, huh? Well, yeah, but you're not on the first spike. You're just on the high. Yeah, right. No, so. No, okay. There you go. What time is the big, I just want to see what time the big move is, is in correlation. Uh, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock okay. versus eight twenty. You know which okay. was the yeah, big no, bar. Yeah, no, totally. Oh, right. So what you have out here, you, you know, my take is the dollar. We failed on price. Now, now we're going to see how this volume shakes out, folks. Um, but this is what markets love to do: spikes the high, and I like the idea that you spike the high. There's a spike on the high. What a spike on the high does is this: that dollar is going up there to see if there's any more orders. And guess what? No more orders, and we can tell like. You know, the way that we were coming into the highs, the, the, the volume was dying all the way up. So that's saying to me that, you know, guess what? This gold contract wants to go higher. And then if you put this together technically, but more so fundamentally with that 10 year, look at this. The, the, if interest rates keep going lower, folks, gold's worth more money. It's just how it goes. You know what I mean? You know, the. Because the, the argument's always made that gold doesn't pay interest. You know, I mean, it, it, you got to hope that gold goes higher, you know, to make money. Sure. And, you know, it, it does, just doesn't do it. Yeah. And if we go over to this 10-year, what you're going to see, and you had this up when Kevin was on. Because yeah, it's this always is, an interesting chart, man. Oh, I mean, rates are back lowest level, and I saw the headline, which is why I pulled it up, 2017. Um, this, this is a big break, man. Yeah. This, this break right here. 2.384, we're at 2.329, uh, 2.329. Yeah, that's the, the last one was 2.338. Yeah, um, so watch this. Oh. And that's you, what you can see. We go right back uh, to 2017, the end. Yep. And so we broke that swing, and guess what? 2.01. It's coming four, at four. Imagine that. Hey, drop it. Why not? I mean, there'd be a good quarter point slash it right off the uh, yeah. everything. And Well, the market's doing it. The, the, oh, it, sure. it was so intriguing here, folks, is that it's the market doing Excuse this. Me. It's not the Fed. The, the market itself is driving these rates down. You know, when I brought this up yesterday, I was really, you know, it's like, okay, these, these started going to the negative rates. I'm, Germany's, it's small, but it's still negative yes. on a 10-year. Well, you watch what happens when you do the five years. This is like crazy. You give someone money for five years. If you give it to them in, Chan in France, you pay them, what, three-tenths of one percent? Yep. In Germany, you're going to have to pay them a half a percent yep. to hold your money. Yeah. Sweden, four-tenths. Netherlands, a half a percent. Switzerland, almost eight-tenths of a percent for five years. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense that we're at 2.1. I 1. hear you. You know, it's... And, you know... Oh, natural gas. Let's do yeah. natural gas. So we got the numbers already. Maybe we can dig in. Can you pull up natural oh, we did? gas? Oh, yeah, oh, that's what it is. That's, okay. they, they come out right when we come out there. Oh, uh, I um, see. Okay. That's uh, N, 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 yeah, NG. I don't know. If you just go to the generic. Yeah, sure. And then pull up the newest. So we're getting some volatility. But we had some volatility. We'll pull up the chart in a moment. Um, so there we go. We got a rise of 100 billion cubic feet. Median estimate had been a rise of 103, pretty close. Inventory is rising to a total of 1.75 trillion cubic feet and jumping over to the chart. And what I was surprised about, we pulled this up during the break right as we were coming back. Um, man, volatility coming into that number, right? Yeah. In terms of we were at 255, we trade up to 257 at 845 in the morning. We drop back down to 254 by just prior to 10. And then there's your 1030 bar. So on that number, um, 
a little bit less than they expected, right? They're looking for 103. Right. You get 100, a little bit less supply. You should see the price jump up a little bit as it did. Um, so natural gas, still pretty affordable, man. 257 on the price of that natural gas um, versus, how about that oil contract? <laughs> and I backed it up. So um, if you remember, right, we were looking at the trades for oil yesterday. Right. It was lining up at exactly 62.50. Some of the trades we were able to look at had exposure at 62.50 of about a buck 50 by noon or 2.30. Right. Um, by noon in particular, because I did the 12, no, no, I came down here at 1 o'clock, I think, to do the 1 o'clock update, and it had moved. Where's 61? See, there's noon, right? 11.55, yeah. mid to 61.22. I mean, you almost got a full buck 50 wow. in those alone, let alone um, if you just went short in the futures or say, I mean, just a staggering from 62.50. And we touched almost 58, and you, where is it? 58.01, $4.50. Um, and you're going to see, you know, the, the 58 area, folks, uh, is the new floor. Not a floor, meaning that that's where you get different levels. And if this starts pounding that 58, well, we'll bring up the next I was one. Gonna, maybe if you could pull that up just because I don't know what you're talking about with the 58. Because uh, I, I mean, 50, a five handle just is what caught my ear this yeah. morning when they said oil's down X percent, 50, and I, whoa, yeah, we're in the 50s. This thing's going a lot lower than this. So when you get a wide price bar like this, folks, it's, these don't come in ones. So here's the 58 area right here. You okay, know, we, cool. we trade We traded there from uh, what? February 15th, kind yeah. of over there before we jumped up. Yeah. But what this is saying now, this type of bar, this is like you get game. Oh, oh definitely. God, you, get, you get game all the way down to 55. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, we're down $3.50 today, right? You better think that $3 Let's might see. be to the downside possible. CL1. Let's do it this way. Put it on a weekly. So I'm putting a continuous contract together. Yeah, the kind of yeah. It'll, it'll take some more cars to build to break it down. I mean, we're that's this is a big move. Fifty-seven dollars, maybe. Yeah, fifty. Well, fifty-five is kind of game now. The thing that's pretty wild, folks, is that man. I hope we're not coming into deflation because real deflation is serious business. You know, because this this no doubt could get down to fifty-four. Give me a few more minutes and I'll make it lower. Right. <laughs> uh, Doesn't look like it's done dropping for the day, man. No, no. What, what happens, and this is what, if, if, if this is what happens in markets in general, that you know you get an acceleration on the way down. People are gonna have to make a choice, you know, basically before they're running away tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? You know, and another heads up here. This was I saw this this morning. I says this this um, let's see, Tepper. I'll pull this up because one of the uh, better hedge, one of the top hedge fund managers, he's decided to give uh, his clients his money back. Okay. And that's saying to me that guess what? He said he just moved to Florida. He's saying, hey, get a couple of years to chop this. I've done yeah, that fine. I'm just gonna take my foot off for at least a year or something. Exactly. And see where we are. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. 
Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And uh, we were talking. I was talking. I was trying to get the name David Tepper. So uh, he um, Appaloosa Management, right? So, great money manager. Oof, they went over twenty-five percent annualized returns, man. Since nineteen ninety-three, yeah, coming out of uh, coming out of Goldman Sachs, not surprising. Yeah, um, but pretty staggering. Now, and now he owns Carolina Panthers as well. Um, but yeah, you, you you brought up the article. Pretty interesting in terms of returning outside money. Um, he doesn't want any of it, man. He's only going to manage his own. Yeah. Now, the one thing that's interesting in this, though, is that most of the firm's $13 billion belongs to Tepper. Right. Not bad. Right. Not bad. No, no, uh, his wealth's worth well, about $11 billion they put down here in the end. And he's always uh, lives in Florida, annually return the profits to investors, which he keeps it trim, keeps right. a, a manageable amount probably. If he could just make gangbusters, though, he wouldn't be returning that money. So even it's maybe a little tougher when you yeah. have that much more money. So exactly. he says, you know, I'm going to trim it down. I'll just manage my own money. Maybe it's $5 million in the market. Maybe it's three, yep. And then I can work with that totally. as opposed to having to And he to just moved to Florida, you know. He just changed address. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Arizona. Let's go to Arizona. we got a special guest out here from That's Arizona. Right. We That's got, right. We've got a... We got, we got, uh, Jack Leeson. Uh, man, Mr. Hey, Jack Leeson from you Major guys? League Trading. Look at you, man. Oh, man. What, we, are, we, what we, are we looking yeah, at out here, We Jack? need to teleport to Arizona, man. All right, so we are. I got the putting green back here. I don't know if you guys call. But, Perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm out here Look in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona with a couple of friends. Actually, this is my friend's parents' house. Um, and uh, we're just enjoying the Labor Day weekend. So I came, came out a little early. Got out last night Chicago. The weather has been terrible. It's like I gotta get, I gotta get my warm weather again. But of course, it's always like the day I land, the markets just absolutely tank, tank, and I miss like the best trading day all month. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm eating breakfast, and the S and P was down like I saw like 40 some points. I mean, and then the oil, what a move in oil. Yeah. What was, was yeah. there any news in oil? Could you guys update me on that? Because I have, I have not been on the top. Of the yeah, we're just about today. 58 dollars, man. You're talking about almost four dollars and fifty cents. We got that EIA yesterday. We we're talking about it. You had crude trading at. 62.50. We almost touched 58, and right now we're trading 58.38 down uh, it's above. It's a monster, Jack. We've been talking. It's, it's it's amazing. It is. That, yeah, that moving oil, I would have really liked to be on. I mean, oh my goodness. I, I, I when I woke up and looked at that, I was just, oh, I, I don't even have like the right uh, computer equipment on me because I only brought my MacBook, which I don't have my future software on. But boy, oh boy, am I missing a great day well, of, that, of that, trading. I, I, think there, that, hey. I think that Ma yeah, the MacBook, you better download some more software, too, because I think they got the date wrong. Because well, It's Memorial Day weekend, not Labor Day weekend. Jack. Oh, that's right. That's, <laughs> <I'm only kidding. laughs> that's right. I, and I can't believe I messed that up. I always get the two, you know, as long as I got a day off. But, yeah, I mean, support the troops. 
Uh, my grandfather was a World War II veteran, so I was. Uh, this is a big holiday for me. He had passed away a year ago um, this weekend. So to everybody who served in our armed forces and continues, thank you. That's a beautiful thing. Got the American flag totally. right here. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome, man. <laughs> Uh, but uh, what what else is on you guys' radar? So as far as a point, I'm really, really watching is 2794. It's just below that the low we have in the S&P 500 on the day. Uh, but, man, if we start getting below that, guys, and this trade war is going full-blown out. I was reading a couple of headlines uh, this morning. You know, the United States is really going after that QA company. Yeah. Um, and, and, and this, you know, guys, this could get to be the most volatile. This could be more. Do you think? 2019 ends up being more volatile than the end of 2018. You know, do we do we return to that volatility we had at the beginning of the year? What I've what been mentioning is that this election's coming steamlining at us, right. and the rhetoric's only going to get ramped up. And right. then there's going to be a fear that if a Democrat comes, it's going to be heavy regulations. That's going to add volatility. Yeah. Um, and that's probably going to cause President Trump to ramp up the trade war rhetoric if really you come to the election. So I, I see as in what, what do you, is, are things going to calm down as we approach November 2020? My goodness, I don't know. Uh, and, yeah. and I think my, my take on this right now is that even if a Democrat gets in, this trade war is not going to be over because what has happened here is that you start on a, yeah. on a trade war. Now this is a real war about technology well no it should be I think, yeah. and i think right. that's no, where there, there is that's right. something right it's no, real that's it's where real. that should it's be a real. it's real and I mean, then it I've should kept, be a bipartisan yeah. yeah yeah i mean the, the, what what they've been doing and the advantages that's a i think you know it's unfortunate because the media doesn't talk enough about what's actually going on on the back end as far as technology transfer and how much how much of a job destruction that is to the u.s economy and you know i mean it's it's definitely some sacrifices we'll see how it plays out but uh, I mean, obviously, China's, I mean, you know, the more I read about them with their whole social, uh, they have the social rating system. Yeah. You know, it's, it, I mean, it's crazy. It, it, yeah. it's, well, it's, that's like, never changed. I mean, it, it's still, you know, they're better off than they were 30 years ago, 40 years ago. I mean, that that's not going to change. It's the Communist Party. That's, you know, it is what it is. But that, yeah. the, this this deal is about who's going to control the world, man. That's what this exactly, is about. Yeah. And, and and we do not want to lose control. Right. You know, and, right. and it's more than even just maybe the stock market not staying at all time highs. You know, there, there's more important issues here at stake. Um, but uh, I also was it that he did he drive? I I saw that there was some uh, uh, some battleships that went through the uh, Taiwan Strait or something, and maybe that was creating some volatility. Uh, apparently, we haven't done that in a while, but I know Taiwan's a huge issue, so. I mean, I just hope this thing never goes military. That's all I, I ask. No, for. that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. it's, you know, but I can tell you the when you when you talk about S and P profits, that's where we're at. That's where this thing is is right now. And then it's going to be the aspect of okay, where where do you move factories? Where do you, you know you know do prices actually go up? Prices are going to go up for us. So the real question is going to be, you know, does inflation catch it all, or does people start losing jobs because the larger companies are losing money? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of moving parts. Right that now, uncertainty man. should add to volatility, right? And I agree right. with everything. We're all bringing right. up good points. It's like, man, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. I mean, we're going to start having debates like in no time. We're going to start having primaries in like no time in terms of so yeah. really be you know I can't see that adding to the calmness. On top of like you're saying, it's yeah. still going to be trade war. It's still going to you know that yeah. stuff is not going away as you're going to add a presidential election into uh, the mix. Watch well, and it's such a, head, a headlining market. I mean, for me, especially like as a day trader, like, you know, I, I mean, I personally always trade with stops. But one thing for everybody out there who's listening, just to know, like, guys, you got to have your stops in because especially if you're on a shorter time frame, um, this market can get ugly quick to the upside or to the downside, depending yeah. on what position you're on. But, uh, yeah. you know, this is this is a great opportunity for a lot of people. Um, and for other people who don't navigate the markets as nimbly, I mean, this is probably a stressful, a stressful time to begin. Right. Right. We've had days up, down, all around in both directions. Yeah. So if you're wrong, right, take that stop because, you know, even if you're bearish or if you're bullish, you can make that same trade tomorrow and you might be right again um, you, you the way the market's exactly. trading. Every, every yeah. day is different. Every it is. is different. Up, down, all around, man. Just wait for the next tweet, the next news cycle. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So you're going to cool. jump in that water, Jack? Look at that sun, man. It's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I was in the hot tub, hot tub last night, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to jump in the water. I'm going to climb this. It's called Tom's Thumb over here. Okay. So I'm going to do a quick hike. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this this is just, you know, this is God's country. That's awesome, man. Well, but, listen, man, sorry, you, man. you have a great 
weekend, safe Memorial Day. Always great talking to you. And stay out there for a while because, uh, well, Chicago's to 80 degrees today, so. Yeah, Peace, well, brother. You know, I, I was 50 the other day when I booked my ticket, so. It's perfect. <laughs> Hey, thanks, thanks so much, care, Jack. Guys. Thanks, Jack. Have a great, have a great have a weekend, one. man. You too. Thanks. You gotta love this. That's great, man. <laughs> it's perfect. Live from <laughs> sunny Arizona, <laughs> man. Totally. Right in front of the pool. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 318. Nasdaq's up 104. S&P's down 33. Come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by sign up today since 1984 basil chapman has been using the chapman wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion while originally hand drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply later basil found that computer software which included the standard market technical indicators enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns as well as market trend calls Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 287. NASDAQ off 93. S&P is off 29. And as you come over to our website, at TFNN, folks, you are going to see our Tiger Dollar sale. And uh, this is uh, going on till uh, this Monday. That's right, man. It's crazy. Memorial Day, May 27th, Monday. You can get up to a 40% bonus. If you're a subscriber right now, no-brainer. Go over there and yeah. get some Tiger Dollars. You just apply them to your account. They'll automatically get deducted for all transactions going forward, whether you're on a monthly, a six-month, a yearly. You supply them to your account. They're right in there. You buy anything else, they get used before a credit card. Uh, if you're thinking about signing up for anything, we probably won't do another one of these until at least maybe the end of the year, if then. A um, right. couple of year is usually the, the deal. And uh, we've doubled the bonuses. So normally you can get a 10 15 or 20% bonus. So normally you'd have to spend 1500 
to get a 20% bonus. You spend 1500 you get a 40% bonus for 600 extra Tiger dollars on the top one, and it's a 20%. 30%, 40% bonus with 500, 1,000, or 1,500. Again, they never expire. They can be used for any TFNN good service. Whether you're talking about mastering probability, Fibonacci 24-7, the gold report. Um, and then, you know, as we talk about it, things you can apply it to, man, uh, the art of time and the trade charts. Right. I encourage people, you can get your Tiger dollars. You can spend them. Save 25% on the first month with the charts. We'll ship you a hardcover copy of your book, The Art of Time in the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. A lot of what's in the software based off some of the book in there. Um, and then I know to, to round it out, right? You talked to a man, Steve Dahl, yesterday. You and he are going to be June 19th. That'll be here before we know it as Thank well. God. I believe that's a Wednesday. Uh, right yeah. after your show, 5 o'clock till 6. I know Steve's going to be breaking down a lot of what he does with the scanner kind of the three-step process, identifying the market's big movers, whether it's the scans, right? Um, yes. You had a great interview yesterday with him. Uh, so, yeah, lots of good action. That one, the 19th. These two, good through Monday. That's right. it. Check it out this right. weekend. Get your Tiger Dollars. If you haven't checked out the charting program yet, get a book, get the charts, 25% off. All right. And what you're getting, folks. That's uh, it. That's gold's it. Gold's going higher. Dollar's going lower. Okay. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, folks. Wow. Larry Pesavento has just...